am at the other side of Arcadia Lake. I shot a video here once. There's a nice bike trail that goes that way. It doesn't, it only goes like four miles, but still nice. Uh, on the weekends, this is a Saturday. This gets a little bit bundled up because of this stuff, but this little sticker gets me in and almost everyone doesn't seem to have that sticker. The cool thing about this lake, well, unfortunately it's really windy today. I can see from the waves. That makes it difficult to record audio because that wind is terrible for audio. Even though I do have a series of dead cats, now I see some good places to set up. And this is why this lake is so great. Um, unfortunately, this is exposed to the wind. Wow, look at those waves. It's usually pretty calm here, but the way you can see downtown Oklahoma City there, uh, this is a good place to set up, but I gotta find some windshield. Oh, what a great place to set up. So I've got this entire place to myself. That's what's cool about having to pay. See, I don't mind, I complained about paying in that park the other day because it was $10 for one day, but this is $80 for a year. I don't mind paying that because I can come here and it's close. I can come here over and over and over and over. So I don't mind that. And it also kind of keeps it from the public just rambling out here. I kind of like having, being able to pay one time for an entire year. Don't mind that so much. I just don't want to pay $10. And this park is way better than that other one where I paid $10 just for one day. That park sucked. Anyway, I found a spot and the reason I'm over here is because the wind is blowing towards me and I, I don't want that audio problem, you know? I can't hear that well as it is. Whoa, there's some deer. <laughs> they scare me. Um, so this will be a good place to set up. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna be using the vertical today, 17 foot vertical and with radials and it's, I want, I'm, I don't have a tuner with me. So I'm gonna try to tune it and then make a contact on 20 meters before it gets dark. I got plenty of time. Okay, sorry about the wind noise. Very windy here. So, this is what I did. Found this rock here. I've got three radials cut for 20 meters and then I haven't tuned this yet, but I have it set up just like that, then splayed out. Okay, this setup got us 1.39. I might, just because I like to, I might try to do better than that with the other radials. I got this 40 foot, very thin coax. I really like that stuff. That way I can get a little space between me and wherever I wanna go. I mean, 1.3, man, that's pretty good. With that strong winds, I'm going to hook up 1.38. Now going to hook up my mountain topper. I, guys, I haven't used this in a year. I think I forgot how. I'm on 14060. The first thing I'm gonna do is call CQ and see if I'm getting out. Not even sure if I'm getting out at all. I'm gonna go ahead and check the reverse beacon network now. Wow. Just like that.
I got confused. I got mixed up in my head. I hope I didn't lose it, man. That was awesome. I called one time. One. And it came right back. I swear I didn't. Okay, there we go. Coming in loud and clear, man. This thing is awesome. So ninety watts.
I'm run running out of things to say. Right, that was awesome, man. One call, three watts or less, nine volt, nine volt battery. Nine volt battery, and I made a contact, one call. That was so awesome, I hope I got the audio on that, man. Anyway, that was WB2 FUV in Gardner, New York. Gardner, New York, so, okay, so that is a resonant antenna. 1.39 is what I got a reading on. I have no antenna tuner. I'm very happy that this worked. Nine volt battery. I think that's about two or three watts. I'm not sure. This is only supposed to go up to 12 volts. It's recommended 12 volts or less. I actually have a voltage regulator in there, but I don't need it because I got a nine volt battery from BioNO Power. They're awesome. They sent me this battery for free. I appreciate it. Everything else pretty much I bought for myself. All right, in my last video, I forgot a connector and I had to hold the wires together just to get some audio. Now, in fact, I was able to transmit holding the wires together like this, the, the coax and the coax. So anyway, this time I bring this damn thing every single time, but the one time I didn't bring it last time, I didn't need it. I mean, I did need it, but 99% of the time I bring it and I don't need it. All right, this is, I've talked about this before. This is a set of connectors you can buy Buy them on Amazon. They're only like 20 to $24 or something. You don't have to buy this or not, but uh, there's a link in the description. It helps me out when you buy it. And all I have is a whip antenna and three radials that I made myself. I could probably do better than that, but I'm, uh, I'm going to be on the reverse beacon network and I'll put a, I'll post that up here right now. And you can see, I'm kind of proved that I've done this. No antenna tuner, just a resident antenna. I got to say, there's a lot to be said about that vertical whip it's easy to set up you know i've done a lot of tree stuff in in in, Oak, in missouri the trees are a lot taller there i mean they can get really tall here here are these i think these are oaks most of these are oak trees you can tell because they got kind of that in fact i'll show you i do believe these are oak i mean correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but they also have these little needles that come out they're called pin oaks i believe that's why they call them that that's what i heard not sure if it's true i don't want to get killed on on YouTube by saying something wrong. Anyway, the trees aren't as tall here and I it's kind of hard messing with a tree. They're very effective. In fact, the next video, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna shoot into this tree right here and run a, a cable over there. But this antenna is doing very fine. Let's On that last QSO, I, ha I started thinking of something to say back. I wanna say I am making a YouTube video, but I have, I have to think of the words and then type them out and I got confused. I also got confused when I whenever I try to ad lib, I'm trying to think of the letters and sometimes I'll get in the middle of a word and I'll, I'll just get confused like, oh crap, what was it a K or an I? And then now I'm like, well, crap. 
Now I, I'm just going to scrap it and just shorten it because I don't want to, you know, make it worse and confuse whoever's there. And so uh, I was trying to say Lakeside Arcadia Lake. I was trying to type that out and I got confused. So I said, forget it, forget that. De -de 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 -de. And I said, Oklahoma. <laughs> so sometimes you just got to do that. So now I'm worried I'm going to get started at a QSO and then these security people are going to come over here and start talking to me in the middle of a QSO, so now I have to wait. Well, no one's responding. I've called CQ a lot and no one's responded. Listen to so this. So I'm real happy. So I was able to get away without using an antenna tuner. So with the whip and a, uh, the rig expert, uh, Antenna analyzer, I was able to get a 1.39, I'm real happy about that. I'm gonna come back out and put a wire in this tree. As I was saying, these trees aren't as tall here in Oklahoma, but I also don't like messing with them. All right, I also wanted to mention I'm, I am on Patreon. It helps me out. I have, I have one person so far that's helping me out a little bit, $3 a month. It gives me a little bit of gas money. These things add up and it really helps me out. So just letting you know.